Hi everyone, so we're a few hours in uh, parating naman na West Conference uh, Finals. We have Los Angeles, Los Angeles Lakers going up against Denver Nuggets. Game 1 will be tomorrow. That will be 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you guys would have some time. So today we would have uh, the prediction of the overall series. Who's going to win the series? And um, I would present my thoughts and my opinions as to why I think that way. Um, I would present five factors that I think uh, would be um, important and would really be uh, a determining factors in this uh, series. Um, number one, <clears throat> momentum. Who has the momentum between the two teams? Um, let's let's take a look back um, as to how these two teams got into the West Finals. Now, um, the Los Angeles Lakers they got rid of. Uh, Portland Trailblazers 4-1. Um, they also got rid of a uh, Houston Rockets with the same kind of series of score 4-1. As for the Denver Nuggets, um, they went through battles, wars, um, two rounds. Almost, uh, not almost, but the same situation. Umabot sila ng 3-1. They're down sa 1. 3 na yung kalaban. First round, they were up. Uh, I mean, they were down against Utah Jazz. They were able to come back. They were able to beat Utah. Um, second round, same scenario, three-one against the mighty Los Angeles Clippers. Denver Nuggets de defeated them. Same scenario then. Three nine Clippers, one in Nuggets. I'm not sure how they how they did it, but uh, they did it. So here we are, Denver Nuggets against. Um, Again, Los Angeles Lakers. Who has the momentum? Obviously, um, that's an easy question. Denver has the momentum. Kau ba naman na nalo ng dalawang series? You're, you're, you're... Wala, wala na talaga. You're, you're being discounted na talaga. You're down 1-3. I mean, I would, I, would, I would admit I was one of those who weren't believing that Denver would, would be here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, baka ganun din yung mga kalaban nila, kaya sila nagali. So, of course, uh, going back to sa dalawang rounds na yon, ng Calum from 1-3, would really uplift your spirit, uplift your um, confidence, and now, for sure, they're ready to go kahit na sa La Lebron pa yung kalaban. Sa La Lebron, simpleng tanong, kailangan ba talaga nila ng momentum? I mean, come on, that's Lebron James. That's greatness, right? Anthony Davis, that's a walking talent. Walking talent na 7-footer pa. So, do they really need momentum? Pero meron naman silang momentum because they dis they discarded uh, their opponents ng mabilisan lang. But, sa, nang sa nangyaring dalawa, um, since sila Lebron, expected naman na sana nila yun, they'd be here. No? They're, they're, they're a mighty team. They're strong. Ang um, kabila is yung Denver. Nobody, nobody really thought they'd be here. For sure, Denver has the momentum. So, one point goes to Denver. Number two, um, fatigue factor. Uh, I guess this is easy. Now, a lot of people are saying, hindi naman yun kailangan rabi. fatigue factor. Come on, we're talking about professional players here. Uh, they, they, they go to gym every day. They practice every day. They, they, they have a perfect diet and everything. But, you know, um, we're still humans to go to accept LeBron. <laughs> uh, fatigue would would be there uh, no matter what you say um, so fatigue factor I guess this one's easy and this one's obvious um, it's gonna go to LA I'm gonna give the point to LA kasi chill na chill sila Lebron was able to rest Anthony Davis was able to rest tapos pinasok pa lang sila J.R. Smith kung sino sino lang yan sila Dudley uh, sa mga ibang games na yan while Denver Nuggets um, talagang dun sa nung nag 3-1 sila every game nakipagbunuan sila uh, they gave their all and they succeeded don't get me wrong but again we're talking about fatigue sometimes your 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 um, confidence and your spirit is so high but really bumibigay naman na yung katawan mo I'm not saying bumibigay yung katawan nila or mapipilay sir or whatever but again nakakatakot yung nakapagpahing ang Lebron at nakapagpahing ang Anthony Davis not to mention meron pa silang Javel Magee Dwight Howard so again one point for Los Angeles Lakers because they're more rested number three bigs um, 
sinong bigs ng kabila ng Denver? Let's start with Denver. Of course, a Joker. Joker eh bilib na bilib talaga ako dun sa sa taong yun. I mean, seven footer, but he can dribble like uh, a, a forward. He can pass like a point guard. Um, he's he's fat. Uh, kaya nga nabibigyan pa ako ng, pagka, ng, ng, ng pag-asa. Pwede pa siguro ako maging hagayin niya. Of course, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> pero ang galing. Sobrang galing na itong taong to. Um, if not for him, for sure, Denver wouldn't be here. Um, so, he's the main big man of Denver Nuggets. Of course, following him would be Millsap. And then, and then sila Plumlee. On the other hand, we have Los Angeles Lakers. Of course, AD. Um, another number one pick overall, aside from LeBron. And then we have Dwight Howard, and we have JaVale McGee. Um, previously, the Clippers, they had to double team Jokic. Otherwise, they'd be in trouble. Um, Jokic can actually score um, with all his might. Um, now, this is the difference maker here. Anthony Davis is um, agile. Anthony Davis is young. Anthony Davis is strong. Hindi niya kailangan ng katulong. Hindi niya kailangan ng double team. Kaya niyang tauhin mag-isa, mahaba, laterals, maganda. Anthony Davis can... I'm not saying he would be able to uh, uh, cause Jokic to have zero points. But again, Anthony Davis doesn't need to have katulong sa double team. So I'm giving the bigs dito sa Lakers because... Again, nabanggit ko kanina, ang mga katulong niyang ang kapalitan, we have Dwight Howard lang naman. And then, kung, sige, kung ayaw mo kay Dwight Howard, we have Javel Magi. Alright? So, nalipad ng mga tig sa 7-2, 7-1, at ang hahaba ng kamay. Masakit sa ulo sobra for, for, for Denver Nuggets. So, two points now for Los Angeles Lakers, and then a point for um, Denver. Uh, the next one would be offense. How about offense? For Denver Nuggets, they have this um, unsolvable, at least for now, type of offense. Uh, the pick and roll or the two-man the, the, the two man, uh, offense ni Jamal Murray and then ni Jokic. Ang hirap. Sa sobrang galing ng dalawa, sa sobrang galing din pumasa ng malaki, sa sobrang unstoppable ni ja- Jamal Murray. I mean, come on. He's, he just scored 40 points against Kawhi Leonard and um, Paul George. Uh, 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 sa game 7 lang naman so medyo unsolvable pa siya paano siyang resolvahin unsolvable nga but that's how that's how they would start their offense from Jamal Murray to Jokic and then of course uh, they're being um, they're being helped by the outside shooting of a lot of people Jan si Harris uh, actually Porter is also sh- shooting 3 points um, almost everyone, Plumlee is actually shooting three points. If Ball Ball would be given a chance, he can actually shoot three. Um, almost lahat sa kanila nagta three points eh, sa, sa Denver Nuggets. So that's how the offense of Denver Nuggets would be like. Um, they also love to run. For the Lakers, an offense nila would be simple. How would that be? Give the ball to LeBron. Um, give the ball to LeBron. He can score if he wants to. He can. He can penetrate uh, but um, for the past couple of years le- what 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 LeBron is trying to do is he's trying to read the read the offense and he's trying to uh, distribute the ball he's trying to pass he's trying to set up his teammates especially my Anthony Davis na siya my Dwight Howard na siya and then sa Lakushma so he's trying to set up his teammates and not just he wants it he has this very great talent of passing mga mga behind the back, mga grabe. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually uh, into believing that LeBron is a better passer than a scorer. Now, a lot of people would uh, disagree with that, but come on. Uh, check it out. Napakaganda ng passing skills ni LeBron. Um, so, that's how Denver should figure it out. How would they stop LeBron from setting his teammates up? At number two, ang mas mahirap, how would they stop LeBron? Pagka drumive si LeBron. Pagka nag one one si LeBron. Um, so, offense, I would be giving it, again, sa Los Angeles Lakers pa rin. So, it's already three points sa, Le- sa Lakers, one point sa Denver. And then lastly, sa bench, a lot of people, if you know me, 
Um, I, I have a lot of respect sa bench. Um, I always look at bench as a huge factor, huge determining factor uh, for a team to win. May it be in a game or in a series. Um, this one, this one's obvious then. Kung talagang nasundan niyo yung buong bubble, um, Denver Nuggets has a deeper bench. Diba? Yung mga bench players ng Lakers, they're old, um, medyo tumaba na sila Dudley, sila J.R. Smith. Ano lang, pumapalakpak-palakpak na lang sa... I'm not saying they can't play no more, but um, as compared to the bench players of Denver Nuggets, man, they're just good. Siguro maasahan mo na lang talaga sa, sa, sa bench ng Lakers would be Kushma, we have playoff Rondo, um, si uh, Half Bald, Half Amazing. <laughs> um, pero sa kabila... Lahat maasahan mo. Lahat i-score. Lahat rebound. Lahat ang ganda ng depensa. Puro bata pa. Um, so, I'm giving this one. At, yun nga, lahat din three points. Lahat nagti-three points talaga sa ano. Even ball-ball. Nagtataka talaga ako at natutuwa. Nagbababa pa siya ng bola. So, I guess bench-wise, it will obviously be Denver. So, that point, I would be giving it to Denver. So, those are the five points. We have three points, Lakers. Two points for Denver. Um, so my prediction, it'll be, well, I, honestly, I want Denver to win the series. Um, because ito yung tipong walang, walang nag-imagine. Maybe even Denver fans didn't imagine that they can reach the West Finals. But they're here. So I'm happy for them, really. I'm happy for them. They're so inspiring. So I want them na sana manalo. Pero ayoko kung lokay yung sarili ko. It will be Lakers because, um... Lakers will be too much. LeBron will be too much. Anthony Davis will be too much for them. Uh, and they now have the attention of everyone. They have defeated Utah Jazz. Again, 1-3. They've defeated um, Los Angeles Clippers. Man, Clippers. The Claw, Leonard, and then Paul George. They defeated them. So, again, tong laban na to, game 1 pa lang, prepared na yang sila LeBron. Hindi na sila to take for granted na Denver lang yan, kaya yan, and all. Um, they already uh, got the attention. They already got the respect. Um, Lakers will be will, will play their best for sure. And with, with that said, um, I'm thinking and I'm saying that uh, the series will end in uh, five games. Lakers, four. Denver Nuggets, one. LeBron James, for sure, will want to end this ASAP so that he can have all the preparation he, he, would, he would need to go to the finals. I'm not sure though kung sino mauna sa kanila kasi 2-0 na nga pala yung kabila. Diba? So, so there. Again, Lakers 4, Denver Nuggets 1. That's my prediction. That's my humble prediction. It may be wrong. It may be right. Um, it is just for fun. Uh, just for sharing. So, if you have some comments, if you have some suggestions, uh, feel free to put in there uh, para matutunan ko rin. Diba? Um, share, share lang din tayo. Um, we, uh, I would like to thank you in advance uh, if you have some time please like and then share this one and again salamat sa lahat um, enjoy po tayo sports is life pase love